Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I'm back. Thank you so much for your support of my Right Botanicals. Here we plant seeds to help you get your mind right. So let's see who the Holy Spirit wants to use to help plant a seed for the collective at this time. Which king or queen, zodiac or element, do you want to use to get a message out for Holy Spirit? Thank you so much for your support. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe. And let's see which king or queen, zodiac or element, Holy Spirit. Who is this? Aries. Child, no. We just did Aries. Let's see. Somebody else, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. Can we get another king, queen? Aries again, child. So I guess the Holy Spirit said it's Aries. That's what I said, now. <laughs> I hear you, Holy Spirit. Mm -mm. Let's see what's surrounding this Aries. Fire sign energy. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be that pretty, but we're going to see. I'm telling you, I'm picking up on it. That's why I want to just deal with it. What else, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit. Do you want us to talk about surrounding Aries? Fire sign energy, Holy Spirit. We're very grateful and thankful for all the insight clarity and wisdom that you provided us with thus far but what is the divine message surrounding aries fire sign energy please and thank you holy spirit please and thank you what do we need to know from you through me at this time please and thank you holy spirit let's see y'all let's go I'm bowed, I'm bent, and I'm broken, but it's in reverse. It's only up from here. So somebody didn't hear it rock bottom, child. That's what that means right there. Meanwhile, you at peace. Please give me another chance. But this is somebody who tried to treat you like you was for the streets. However, you talk to the birds. Okay? You are anointed, so believe it. And this warlock wizard energy... That thought you were flawed. Okay? This person is up under some sort of spiritual attack, but it's playing out in the physical realm. This person may have been reading Psalms 91, trying to get that monkey up off of him, okay? I'm telling you now, he going through it. And for some reason, his mind is going to you and how he tried to play you about who you are. Don't know why we're going to get some clarity. But for some reason, in his darkest hour, this man is thinking about you. Okay? You're a clairvoyant, intuitive high priestess of some kind. It came out back to back. But this man tried to play you like you was for the streets. Wasn't about shit. They love to do that shit. And then when that karma boomerang back around... They be dying to have you. Okay? Because see, this person did try to play you like you was the bus down now. Yes, they did. But your throat chakra has proved otherwise. Okay? Your, you, you, a throat you a throat goat in another way. Okay? These people might have was trying, these people. See, he was out here trying to play you to multiple individ individuals like you wasn't shit. Like you was a throat goat. And I'm hearing you ain't never went down on this motherfucker. So how would he know? But out here insinuate things about you. But your throat has goaded you in another way. You are known for being able to talk to the birds. 
You are known for your anointing, okay? And people are watching you be at peace while this Aries warlock is catching hell. And I don't even think you're aware of it. Because some shit been shut down for him. Lights out on options that he had previously. He done lost some things. Something happened here. Okay. He, he, look, bottom of the barrel, rock bottom energy. He has not remained unbowed, unbitten, unbroken like an Aries Emperor energy do. He, he struggling right now. Okay. And his mind is going to how he tried to play you about who you are. Like I tell folks, you may not never know how karma spent, spin the block for you. Cause karma is spinning the block for somebody right now. Cause this person tried to make it seem like you were not credible. I'm not even picking up. I'm not even really picking up that you and this person actually were intimate at any point in time. So for him to be out here putting you out here to the world like this, to his homeboys, it's some, it's a group of men here. Because I said they. It's a group of people here that he was talking shit about you too. And all these people are watching you be at peace while he go through it. And karma will spin the block in such a way that it's going to let you know exactly why you are going through what you're going through. And karma has shown him. He didn't got that whisper from the universe that the reason why he going through what he going through is because all that shit he talked about you. Okay? Because you a whole spiritual teacher out here. That he put his mouth on in a negative way. Because I'm telling you, it's something about him saying you a throat goat. Ain't, ain't even, you know what? I'm on, I'm on scale it back because I was about to get real ignorant, okay? Because I like I tell y'all, I can, I can talk a motherfucker right into a corner. I, I can really fuck a nigga up, okay? A bitch up too with some of the stuff that I could say, but I don't say it. But I'm telling you, this person ain't even never seen your coochie hair. Or if you even got coochie hair, let alone to be talking about how your throat work. He don't know nothing about who you done fuck or nothing like that. Just out here lying on you. That's why his ass is facing endings now. That's exactly why. Look, I ain't going to show y'all what's on the bottom, but that's how he feel. I, I really want to show y'all this. That's, that's how I said his darkest hour. Okay. But this what this what his darkest hour been feeling like. And he keep thinking about you. You see that came out right behind this MDK. Cause I'm telling you, he losing a lot. He feel like it's over. He can't get no lower. But in your darkest hour, in the deepest hole that you've ever been in, that's the time that you need to call on the most high God more than any other time when you down bad and you don't see no way out of your situation. The most high God right there by you, the Holy Spirit is right there next to you waiting on you to say, hey, help me. Heal me, save me, redeem me, rectify me, inspire me, teach me, make me better. And you will see a change if you truly believe in the power of the most high God and you are willing to let go of that life that you live that got you down in that damn hole. See, that's, that's what he got the say for himself and that may say to himself rather and that may be why he's thinking about you because you may speak that type of rhetoric through your high priestess abilities it's something about what you what you say that has proven 
has shown who you are. Because what you've said has been right on the money. Right on the money now. Trust is hard to come by. He's lost a lot of credibility for playing with your name, okay? And I think that lack of credibility started happening before this most recent travesty, this most recent issue that he's dealing with. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Like, people not fucking with him like that. Who's going to save your soul now? Whatever camaraderie, whatever community he had that made him feel secure, that made him feel justified, he ain't got that no more. This man really feel low. This man really feel like, you know, it can't get no worse. So what, what, what am I doing at this point? But if he truly listens to you, if he, if, cause he listened to you, he just didn't like how you were showing up to the world. This is somebody, look, y'all going to get enough for trying to make people be your bus down. Okay, you're going to get enough to try to make people be nothing because you think they shouldn't be something. Because, see, that's what I'm getting off of him. Because he, he came out here as a warlock. This really giving somebody who could have possibly connected with you in a positive way because you both are spiritually anointed beings, but he chose to go dark against you. And try to ruin your reputation. And it's then backfired on him. Hell, motherfuckers think you a damn warlock. I just heard. Child, look, we just something just hit the flow too. Let's see. I'm telling you. Single caught out here. Because he by himself out here. He by himself out here now. Because there's some people who think. Because this is what I'm getting. It's some people who think. Well, not think. They know. They know that he going through what he going through because of what he said about you. Damn, single hit the flow again. When I tell you that it's hitting him hard, that he ain't got people in his corner like he used to, it's hitting him real hard. But they feel like he, he going through what he going through because of what he did to you. And your ass might have did some shit back to him. <laughs> That ain't what I'm picking up on. That's just what you send out, you gonna get back. If you send out that somebody is for the streets and flawed and a fraud, and that might be the energy you really is on, what you think is gonna be revealed about you? Don't save them. They don't wanna be saved. Look, that's why I said all he got is the most high God and the Holy Spirit at this point. But that's all he need. When people realize that that's all you need, that other stuff is just a trickle down effect of the relationship you have with the most high God. When they leave you hanging, when they have to move on, when the season of them being in your life is over with, you'll still be at peace because you have that divine relationship that you hold for up first and foremost. See, he wasn't doing that. He put a lot of stock into relationships, associations, connections on the 3D. And now that people have withdrawn from him, from him, he is really feeling it. But I'm telling you, you are a gifted speaker. And this person tried to fucking ruin your rep reputation. But you've been over there wherever you at spitting out that, that damn high priestess rhetoric. With no hesitation. And I'm telling you, you right on the money with a lot of shit. Okay? And these people have witnessed your predictions I just heard. And they ain't fucking with you. That's why a lot of high priestesses are isolated. Because people know that they cannot get over on you. They can't come over there with that slick talk. They can't try to be out here fucking cheating on you and shit. You gonna pick up on that shit. 
you're going to pick up on their bullshit and you're going to check them about it. And they don't even want to have to go down that road. So that they just ain't don't even need to deal with you because you too tapped in. It's a, it's a lot of people out here who stay away from high priests and high priestesses because of that fact in itself. It ain't nothing else but that. That's a deal breaker for them. But the most high God will, will put you around people who are honest, who are faithful, who are true, who you ain't got to be trying to decipher if they telling lies to you or not. Your intuition ain't got to reveal nothing about them because they on the up and up. And that's what I have also learned. So, you know, these type of people, and I'm saying this to this Aries. That's what I'm hearing for him. This is a lesson to him that them people weren't really for him like that anyway because they wouldn't have left him in his time of need. So when he, if he, re, we have time travel, astral projection, and lucid dreaming. Hmm. It's something like he may have come to you in some sort of 5D projection. Tried to see what was up with you. And this man saw that he wasn't going to be able to. Play you like you were for the streets. It's a lot of. Okay, I'm going to tell you what I'm getting. He thought you was a witch hoe. He thought you was one of them type of vibes. That we see. Who have all of the bells and whistles of a spiritually inept person, okay? But they really be on some other trick shit with it too. It's a lot of motherfuckers out here like that. They use that spirituality to make them seem alluring and appealing and attractive so they can try to fuck with who they want to fuck with. He fuck with a lot of witch hoes, Okay? He thought you was a witch hoe. I'm telling you that's what I'm hearing. I ain't trying to offend nobody or nothing. But you shouldn't be offended. Because you, sh you shouldn't be one to call no witch hoe. And you shouldn't think you are that. So if you feel like that's applying to you, then you need to do some work on yourself. Okay? But I'm telling you that's what he thought you was. But time has proved that you not. He knew you wasn't that anyway, though. When he went and projected his ass over there to see what was up with you. So he got pissed because he knew that he could not <coughs> hold you in that energy. I'm telling you. And that's when the spiritual warfare began. Okay. They ain't together for no reason. People know of him getting with them type of broads. So if you're spiritual, if you're this and that and the third, but you fucking with this, this Aries warlock, you into that dark shit too. It ain't all love and light with you. That's what people know. I'm telling you now. <coughs> I'm telling you whether they know of his specific antics or not, they know that he don't talk to vibes like you. So if you was going to be with him, then that mean you was on some other shit. But he know he couldn't pull you into that realm. So he had to create that facade about you, that that's who you were. And baby, that shit didn't backfire, honey. Clear your energy. Pride and ego, that's what the universe is telling him. He needs to ground himself. Down in that hole he in right now, he need to ground himself, release this belief that he had about life up until this point, and have an ego death down in that hole. If anything need to be ended unalive, it's that ego. I'm telling you. That may even be what that is referencing for the universe with this MDK suicide energy. It's time for his ass to have an ego death. Because the universe don't give a fuck about his feelings. And he's learning that it's a whole bunch of other people 
who don't care how he feel either. It's a lot of pivotal changes happening for this Aries right now, okay? So, you know, when they try to slander you and defame you, but you living right and doing the best you can because you ain't perfect, shit. You might curse. You know, you might have you a nightcap here and there after a hard day of work. You ain't perfect, but you ain't out here trying to hurt or harm nobody. You definitely have been trying to be a spiritual inspiration to others. And you've been blessed for it. So this attempt to take you out of your divine element is why he going through what he going through now. And he know it. He know it. A lot of other people know it too because they know the shit that he just set up and talked about you. Only for you to pop out to the world in this anointed energy. We have dreams and downloads. I'm telling you, the universe has been showing him a lot about you that he should have been trying to take you on a vacation instead of play you like you as a slut bucket, a bust down. Okay? That if he would have tried to get in alignment with you, y'all could have been making miracles happen around this bitch, but his ass wanted you to do spell work with him. I'm telling you, he was looking for a broad. He thought you was one of them that put on that, that aligned divine feminine light to the world, but they asked really be behind the scenes, metaphysical in it up. Now, he thought you was one of them. And when he saw you wasn't one of them, he got mad about it. Anything else? Final card. Happy. That's you. That's you now. And I'm going to tell you something else I had just heard when I was shuffling. These random men that was following up this Aries about you and trying to make it seem like you was for the streets and that you weren't an anointed high priestess, those men are scared of you now. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Ooh, I can't make it up. The universe is saying, fear not. She ain't nothing to be afraid of, but I am. <laughs> okay, you done put the fear of the most high God in these men. I'm telling you, they was trying to take you for something to play with too. Some of these other men that he talked shit about you too. They may have also tried to play in your energy. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Now they ask is like, uh-uh. Wisdom, guidance, and tutelage. He tried to tell them something about you, but they've gained a different understanding. At this point in the game, they know what time it is with you. They know they better not try to play you like this motherfucker played you. Or they might end up in the same boat, the same sink, sinking ship. I'm telling you, they know to keep their mouth off of you and not to play in your energy, okay? Because it's, it's giving kind of, it's starting to slide into that spiritual gang banging vibe. But I ain't finna go down that road. Just know, these men know that they need to be conservative with the crown chakra attacks against you, I'm telling you, it's a group of men that this Aries was talking all this shit about you two now. And they shit then came crashing down. And all these men is like, oh, well, guess I need to back up off of that one. That ain't a witch hoe that I can fuck with. Because you ain't no witch hoe. You a divine mother, though, and they learning. Oh, they learning now through him. Fuck that. People want to try to put you in some sort of category because of the bitches they fuck with that really fit in that category, and you don't, and they want you to be in a number, but you ain't going, and so then they try to pull you down there because you ain't going. And then the universe dragged their ass down. 
for trying to pull you up out of your divine element. Final card, Holy Spirit, because baby, I'm telling you, I'm picking up on this group of men. You could be living in the country, live in the South, you know, live out in the boonies. Okay, but you out somewhere. This is giving that peace energy, that serenity, that sanctuary energy that you were in from the very beginning. You off minding your business. Damn sure ain't running no whole house. And you ain't gonna allow him or anybody else to disturb your chi and make you feel like you aren't who you were anointed to be now. Nah. And I'm dropping the mic. I'm dropping it. I'm going to let it go. But if it doesn't apply, y'all, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.